Good morning, fans, privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here. Terrible goods, FOMC, and then a press statement afterwards from Pauli. Um, not sure it's going to gonna say anything too, too interesting, but we got to watch just in case he does. Obviously, any uh, any little inkling towards tapering, and they'll crush risk. Uh, but I don't think he's going to do anything today. Uh, still in the flu season for most of America, uh, even though the numbers are getting better, um, and there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel. I believe they're going to wait until we see... Um, some real traction on the vaccine but anyway you got to listen tonight you got to see what's going on uh, and until then I don't think we're going to do a whole heck of a lot you can see dollars a little weaker yesterday euro kind of we opened took out new lows and then just grinded higher all day up to 75 now we're at 62 same thing everywhere. Cable up on the 137 solidly. Bullish engulfing. Cable looks like she can go further. Dollar Swiss just resisting this uh, 89.25 level. Back down in 88.64. Dollar Yen doing nothing. Dollars are bearish engulfed yesterday did not expect that we took some pain bought some 20s but then we got out of them um, stopped out of that dollar max also same 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 pain got to be square dollar max after that after that bar yesterday and heading into the FOMC you really don't want to you really don't want to be you know, have the truck full of positions. Although, like I said, it's not like not much of a chance he does anything. But that said, there's more of a chance that he's he's dovish than he is hawkish. So going into FMC long dollars doesn't make any sense. Aussie and Kiwi flew yesterday, man. Kiwi yen. This is an interesting level now here. Down here, 36, 74.36. This was just equities higher, and Aussie CAD and Kiwi big squeezes. Here's CAD, bang. Almost all sort of bearish engulfed uh, in the on the dollar side. Um, dollar max, dollar czar, dollar cat, kiwi, Aussie. But you can see it's just in the middle of nowhere, right? So we're just treading water here. We have to really decide. Uh, say Aussie gets up through seventy-eight twenty, then it's kind of on its way to ninety cents, I think. But also, if it gets back through 76.50, um, it's going to get thumped. So here at 77.40, same thing with dollar cad here at 127.13. There's not much to do. Looks like it's going to be a quiet, quiet start. Maybe get some exercise here this morning, um, rather than uh, push any chips anywhere. Gold, not doing much as well. 1850 equities Whew. up to 60 down to 30 here we are hanging around 40 kind of dojied in the end 3844 kind of opened where it closed but uh, this could go either way this could shoot higher or shoot lower um, patience 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 
Bonds didn't do a whole heck of a lot, to be fair. We didn't get paid. We had some offers, some lonely offers up at 137.20. We had some lonely offers um, up at 171, the figure. Uh, bonds didn't do too much. You can see a theme here today, kind of licking our wounds from yesterday. Going to just sort of sit and watch things this morning. You want to be around for durable goods at 2.30, um, and then you want to have some bullets to spend for FOMC just in case, even though there's not much of a chance that he does say something. In the meantime, Bitcoin is just sort of fluffing around at the bottom of the range, and crude, not really doing too much, hanging around the highs, up to 53.27, down to 52.40 yesterday, just hanging around here, I think this thing's going lower, um, core short crude seems to make a lot of sense to us, but um, you got to just sell high ones, collect, and then wait for this consolidation period uh, to unwind itself, just like all of the dollar charts as well. Anyway, I won't babble on today because there's really not much to say. Uh, it's going to be a very, very quiet morning, and we wait. We wait for news from Durable Goods. We wait for news from Jay Powell. Uh, and we wait to see what the U.S. stock market wants to do. All right. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.